right, YouTube world, I'm coming to you today. I want to share with you some of the items that I sold. I believe I'm going to be adding some footage on. I got a, a lot from Anthony at Pittsburgh, and I want to go through and share with you some of the items that I got at uh, one of his online auctions, which I thought was a really neat way of sourcing. And uh, I want to share with you the items that I sold, but I think it's smart to say at the beginning of course, in our world, a lot of things are going on. It seems like our world is in chaos. And because of that, me being a, a pastor, of course, there's extra weight and burden because there's a gathering that we have three and four times a week. Uh, so, of course, I'm really concerned. My heart is really heavy on making decisions and what needs to be made, uh, which would be best suit our faith family. Uh, but there's so many of us as resellers out in this world that are traveling all around sourcing and uh, we really don't know what is going to come of that uh, in the future. So uh, I just want to let you know that I'm praying. Uh, now, I don't know what your faith is, but for me, uh, I'm praying, asking God to protect, to let this be much less than what they ever forecast. Uh, but I will say I enjoy the reselling game, uh, but I'm called to be a minister first. So my heart goes out to those that I know. Uh, those of you that are subscribed to the channel, those of you that are in the reselling community, uh, my heart goes out to each of you. My prayers go out to each of you as we all together navigate this crazy virus uh, together. Uh, because guess what? It doesn't matter uh, where you stand on faith. It doesn't matter where you stand politically. It doesn't matter which side you are on Dymo or Rolo. It doesn't matter. We're all one team in the human race. So I just want to let you know is as uh, the reverend of the reselling community, or at least one of them. I live with each of you, and I'm praying for each of you. At this time, I'll see you in just a minute. I wonder if the adventure of a full-time pastor, a part-time reseller, would be interesting, informative, or entertaining. Find out on this episode, the man, the myth, the legend. Ah, uh, maybe not a myth or a legend. Ladies and gentlemen, Reverend Resale. Right now I want to share with you the things that uh, I sold. I think I've got 14 labels that I printed and Thursday going into Friday, that's a good day. Uh, not a lot of great big sales, but great sales. I'm grateful to uh, have them. I'll also say to you, I don't know if you noticed during the introduction that I was a little startled there at the end. I only have one ear that works. Probably notice all the sound outside. We've got some construction in the area. But something is in this garage, and I don't know what it is. I don't know if I hit something or what it was, but I may go back and show, with you, show you the clip of where I got sort of startled, and maybe you can hear the sound. But uh, I don't know what it is, but it was kind of eerie. So if it happens again and you hear me screech like a girl, that will be why. All right, the first sale that I have today is this uh, Do It Tough Hands. Uh, this is uh, just some uh, cream for your hands. I only got $11 free shipping on this. Uh, so I basically gave it away. Um, next is a baseball card. This one is a Lou Gehrig card. Uh, this one here, this Lou Gehrig card here went uh, for $8, free shipping. All right, next is another card is this Cody Bellinger. Uh, this Cody Bellinger card is a 2020 Topps Heritage, went for $9.99, free shipping. All right, next is a Don Russ Gavin Lux. This is a blue hola, uh, Hologram parallel and then his base card. Uh, this went for $12.99 free shipping. All right, the next sale that I have is also in here is one of these brass pencil sharpeners. Yes, I sold another one. Uh, $8.49 for a little bitty uh, pencil sharpener. Great, grateful uh, to uh, have that sale. All right, next is this, let's see, it's right here. Uh, is this Pocahontas uh, Disney Masterpiece uh, Deluxe Laser Disc Edition. You probably have noticed I've had these on the shelf. Some of them I listed yesterday and this one sold. Um, not much, but $8 plus $4.90 something cents shipping. 
Uh, next is a lot. I've already got them somewhat packed up. This is a lot of three Harley Davidson shirts. Sold this for $20 plus $8.40 shipping. You'll see a few pictures here on the side. All right, next is this auto body repair. This is just a little small book. I probably paid 50 cents or a dollar for it at max. I sold it uh, $8.99 free shipping. All right, next is a lot of these. This is went for $23.99. I actually sold to two different people, $23.99 a piece. I've got two lots, two lots of these that I'm gonna be shipping out in just a minute. All right, next is another one of the tough hands. This one went for $13.99, free shipping. All right, next is the, the next. This one is Walt Disney, The Lion King. This one went for $12.99 plus $4.92 uh, shipping. Next is another, uh, this one is a global shipping. This card here is a J.A. Morant and a Zion Williamson uh, Panini Contenders card. Uh, these went for $12.99 free shipping. All right. Let's see. Next is this. I have sold this three times. I sold it once. No payer. I relisted it, sold it again. Had a no payer, listed it this time, and they paid. Uh, and uniquely, I had it for sale $52.99, and every one of them was a $40 offer. Uh, this buyer, thank goodness, finally purchased it, $40 free shipping. So I'm going to get this uh, sent out in just a second. So I'm going to uh, get all these packed up, and I will be back with you in just a minute. All right, y'all, I'm making my way to the post office. Um, but before we close out the video, I want to share with you at least a clip of some of the things that I got from Anthony on the auction the other day. And then we'll come back in just a second. Though, I don't know if I... All right, y'all, I want to share with you, I purchased this lot of items. I believe this is what it is uh, from Anthony at Pittsburgh. Uh, Pittsburgh, not Pittsburgh. Um, he had an auction, I think, last Friday night or last Saturday night, and I uh, purchased this lot from him. I tried to stay up so that I could purchase a lot of lots from him and was not able to stay up. I'm sort of an early to uh, bed kind of guy. Um, but I'm going to open this up and share with you what is uh, what is in this package. Anthony did the trash bag method, which is really good. I use it too on a lot of items because it keeps uh, the package sealed. Uh, gives it a little bit better moisture protection. And uh, he sent with eBay tape and an Amazon box. That's how Anthony rolls. Give me some extra bubble. Good job. All right, so I have Adam's Family, Gomez, Gomez Adam's Funko Pop. I have Morticia Adams, so that's a lot, Morticia and Gomez. Uh, good, good, good lot there. Uh, he mentioned that these boxes were not perfect, and they're not, but they're uh, good enough. Uh, Etta Candy uh, from Wonder Woman. Uh, Harry Potter, uh, this box is uh, in pretty rough shape too, uh, Harry Potter, uh, this is a, a cool one, Hannibal Lecter, uh, this Hannibal Lecter actually has blood on the package, and then a uh, Willie from Duck Dynasty, uh, I'll probably take this one out of the box and sell it as a bobblehead, and then there was a lot, I have some of these that I need to list uh, of the pocket keychain Funko Pops. I have a uh, Farrah Winston from Overwatch. I have a White Walker from the Game of Thrones. Uh, Lucio from Overwatch. And I think there's one more in here. And Sombra from uh, Overwatch. So uh, I want y'all, I don't know when Anthony's, oh, there's another one in the bag. Uh, another Farrah. So I don't know when Anthony is going to be doing these lots again, these auctions, but it was really neat to be a part of it. So if you see these auctions come up, you'll be able to find this uh, deal. I'm not going to say this is the greatest buy that I ever had, but I'm honored that I was able to be a part of that auction and honored to be able to uh, purchase these Funko Pops from uh, Anthony at Pittsburgh. I think Nate was on there. Nate had some items that I wanted to and was outbid on. 
Uh, but hey, I appreciate this. Uh, Anthony, you're one of a kind. I uh, wish you luck on all the auctions that, that you do. And uh, I'll probably be buying more lots from you in the future. Deuces. Well, we're back. Uh, hope, you know, Anthony, thank you once again at uh, Pittsburgh. Uh, great stuff. I uh, haven't sold any of it yet. I think I got a few pieces listed. I think my kids are going to keep a few pieces. Uh, so all in all, uh, it wasn't one of those buys where I'm going to make a million dollars. Uh, but it's a buy that I was grateful to get from Anthony and looking forward uh, to selling a few of the pieces and keeping a few of the pieces. Uh, but once again, as we think about all that's going on in our world today, as we think about uh, COVID-19, the coronavirus, and all that's going on around that, uh, I just encourage you not to fear, not to panic. Um, I truly believe, uh, I believe in a God that can handle all things, and this is one of those that he's handled, and one that he will. So uh, I just hope uh, and encourage you in that. Let's continue living life uh, under the measures and the rules in which those that are smarter than I am tell us to do so. Uh, but as we do that, I hope we're still able to make some sales and have a great time sourcing. And as always, I know no other way of closing out a video than say, deuces, may God bless. See, I told you it wasn't a myth or a legend, just a regular dude selling on eBay. Thanks for watching. Remember another reselling community or at least one of them. I live with each of you and I'm in another reselling community or at least one of them. I live with each of you and I'm in another reselling community or at least one of them.